after the awkward lunch, I did not see that girl ever again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine here, back with another banger. You already know. And lately, everyone's just been sick. I was sick, she was sick, he was sick. Everybody's just sick. It's just crazy. This weather is changing, the air is drier. It's ridiculous, but forgive me. I'm still recovering. In today's video, I am going to talk about my college roommate experience and how that was <laughs> if you're new make sure you subscribe and make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up and without further ado let's get right into this video i decided to go to school outside of state so i didn't have anyone coming with me so i'd be automatically assigned a roommate before they assign you one they make you fill out these questionnaires saying like are you a tidy person or are you a messy person do you like loud noises or do you like quiet things like that just to get to know a little bit about your habits and pair you up with people who might be compatible with you I think they paired us up and we got like basic information about each other like name, age, major, basic information. The only thing I knew about her before showing up was that she was white, she had brown hair and glasses and that's a pretty, pretty general description for a person. Those three things I just described probably half of the world. So we're moving in and I arrived first, me and my family. Everybody's moving my stuff up. I get first choice in which bed I want, what side of the room I wanted to be in, you know, all the good stuff. And we start putting my stuff up and start, you know, making the room pretty. And then my roommate, her and her family then shows up after um, once my room is majority put together, we was about done. <sighs> her and her family come up and everything is awkward. It's like, I don't like to talk when I'm in awkward situations and she wasn't talking because the whole situation was awkward. It was just weird. But like my mom and her mom were, you know, talking and getting along and getting to know each other so you know I said hi she said hi that was really it they was unpacking her stuff and making her side of the room look pretty then when we were about done my family had left her family had left and and so did she so somehow I was the only one left in the room I don't know but I was the only one there so I was like okay let me go explore and, and get a bite to eat because I'm hungry okay I decided to walk to the dining hall to get something to eat because I was starving so I walked there and I ran into my roommate again we both got our food and she invited me over to sit with her and her boyfriend you know to eat lunch together normally I feel like I would have said no I don't know why they just gave me very weird vibes like it was so weird I'm like okay so this is just a new experience you know why not I was just eating lunch like it wasn't a big deal I sat across from her her boyfriend and I was just eating we didn't even talk it was so strange I think I tried to start a conversation with her but she really wasn't like trying to talk back with you have a conversation so I got the hint hey you don't gotta talk to me if you don't want to I come out my business that's not a problem so we had the awkward lunch that was weirdly silent except her and her boyfriend were you know mingling back and forth on the low you know just with each other it was weird like don't invite me to sit with you if you're just gonna ignore me I could have sat by myself anyways after that I don't I haven't seen that girl again like ever after the awkward lunch 
I did not see that girl ever again. I didn't see her ever again. I went exploring around campus just to see what's what was going on. By month by the time Monday came back around, she didn't she never came back to the room. I was going to classes and extracurriculars and everything on campus. Again, she was never in the room. I did not see her. I did not know where she was. I didn't really know who she was. It was so weird, and you know me being me, I'm so nosy. Listen, I was looking all through her stuff. Like, I wasn't, like, touching anything, but, like, I was, like, looking, like, what she got over there? Just to try to figure out who she was and what type of person I was going to be living with. And since she wasn't there to talk to, I'm like, let me look at the type of things she has around, like see where she's from or something. People kept asking me about her. They're like, why is she, is she in classes? Why is she not in school? Why does she move all her stuff here? Why is she not in the room with you? Is she in a different room? Like, who is this girl? Where is she? Eventually, I would say fast forward to around midterms, maybe, I think. Yeah, so around midterms, if you get like a C or below, they will send you a progress report. So they send the progress report both to you and whoever your emergency contact is. So both one goes to you and one goes to home, wherever that is. I think that's how... I figured out she wasn't in school. Somebody had sent a note to our room, but it was for her. It was it was like the progress report at midterms. Cause you know, everybody who had a C or below was getting them. So I was familiar with what they looked like. And one had came to the room for her. I put it on the desk. Mind you, everything looks exactly the same from how it was the very first day her parents moved her stuff in. No lie, I had left, did some stuff, eventually came back to the room. Hours later, I had came back to the room and all her stuff was gone. <laughs> Cleaned out, gone. I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened to her stuff? And then I thought about it, I'm like, oh, she probably got a progress report and failed out of school. And then she came and got her stuff and moved it out because they kicked her out of school because she was probably failing because she never showed up but it was ridiculous and basically by luck I didn't end up getting another roommate so I had a dingle I had a dingle which is a double single so like a double room but for one person but it was lit I had that whole room to myself and I just had space and I was chilling that was my college roommate experience that's what really happened to my roommate it was so weird how somebody could show up on the first day and then never show up ever again like and their parents think they're going to class and that they're studying hard and getting this degree and she never showed up again it's like her parents left and then her, her boyfriend left my theory on what had happened is that she left with a boyfriend. I think her boyfriend had went to another school like an hour or two away from our school. So I think she just left with him and probably went to his school and never came back to our school. <laughs> her, her whole energy was weird. Like I probably couldn't even point her out in the crowd today. Something was off about that girl. This song um, we don't know about. But that is all for today's story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, stay awesome.